So, um, beta 10. I'm not so sure Apple really meant to release this update or not, but nevertheless, it's here at only 68 megabytes for my iPhone 10. So I'm really not hoping for any new changes whatsoever, nor any new features. Let's just check out what this update brings to our iDevices. So Beta 9 just released earlier this week on Monday. And honestly, when I saw the update come through, I was like, what could they have possibly improved in these three days of testing Beta 9 through developers and the public? Beta 9 was already super smooth, I didn't notice any major bugs, and the battery life was quite exceptional. So let's get on to Beta 10. Okay, so as you can see here, we do have a different build number, and that is 16A5364A. So here's Beta 10, and going throughout the UI, and there's no visual performance changes. No new features, hence the really small update size, and really nothing has changed. What's good is that we do still maintain that speed that we saw in Beta 9, and the performance is very consistent. So why did Apple release this update? My thoughts are that this is the last regular beta update. That could really be the only reason Apple released such a small update so close after the beta update earlier this week. I mean, we should be seeing the GM version pretty soon now, and I hope that version is the next version to be released for iOS 12, so we can kind of get like the full picture of how the official software will interact with all of our iDevices and favorite apps. So if you have an opinion on this topic, please comment that down below because I really want to get this discussion started on what Apple's doing with their betas right now and how they're going to shift from betas to GM to their official launch in just a couple of weeks. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this short update video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and stay tuned because we have some more exciting content coming to you all really soon. We'll catch you guys in the next one.